really instinctive. Here he goes. Yeah, that's a big man moving. He is. That Four, is a big eight, two. man moving. Holy That holy. deserves a nice round of applause from the fans here. They just watched somebody pushing 340 run a 4.82 on official time. He got out. I mean, you see it. They said the GPS numbers when you, the teams are using those numbers in the fall to give them an idea of how athletic. Logan Hall can really get skinny. He got a nice little swim move. He can get real skinny as an interior rusher. Yeah. Wow. That's wow. Great. That, that earns a nice round of applause from the fans here. He had a little hitch in his giddy up going back. Devontae Wyatt can roll. He's another Georgia Bulldog. 166 split. And a 484. I mean, the standard for these interior defensive linemen for 10s, you're talking <laughs> And, uh, I mean, how about that, uh, that, that XO we just saw of Jordan Davis, man? When you got a guy that big, that agile, that violent and explosive, um, we just see what J.J. Watt has done for years. There he is in the wave drill, his first on-field drill. Willie, what are we looking for here in the wave drill? First of all, how look how fast he just popped up off the ground. You can start there. Yeah, and you know these these drills are tough because these guys try to guess the direction instead of just moving. But you want to see these guys move and get out, you know, and explode. Um, we're not trying to see them be DBs or any of that stuff like that, but getting up, getting off the ground, moving side to side, chasing. We've seen a play just like this with Jordan Davis. He was, you know, he was going lateral. He was chasing the guy down the line, able to explode and make a play. That's what you want these guys to do. He's again on the ring of honor. His son now going at it. Here's Travis look at, Jones. Look at him move, Willie. I mean, yeah. Travis Jones. Jordan Davis kind of took up all the attention. We look at what Travis Jones and Devontae Wyatt did as well at 300-plus wow. pounds. That's a big man that is really smooth. What are we looking at here, guys? What are we looking at here? Go ahead, Willie. Well, we're looking at guys getting through traffic. I mean, usually in the interior line, when you're dealing with old linemen, guys are on the ground. You got to get your feet up. You got to get quarterback. Okay, he gets through all the traffic. He attacks the quarterback. The ball comes out. Now you got to turn and go. Big Jordan Davis. Again, getting the, getting your pad level down is just going to be the challenge for him just because he's so dang tall. Mm -hmm. You know, you hurry when you get, you, you do all that great pass rush and you finally get to the quarterback and he throws the little dump off to the back <laughs> or a screen. And now you got to turn and run 15, 21 yards to get to him. That's it right there. That, that move. 43 at 34, hybrid 34. You want to use guys at D tackle or over the nose or move them out. Like, there's so many guys to choose from and so much depth depending on what you. <laughs> It's darn near 60 pounds lighter. Here's Wyatt. He can move. Mm. I like the, I like the, the, the twisties, man. You, come with, you always come with a different look. You got the twisties this time. It's all about growth. It's all about growth. On well, and we, off the field. We just watched Jordan Davis do this drill. What would you think of uh, that run? Big fella got feet. He got feet, and he's got a get-off. Like, one important... Thing and this man right here, who was the master of getting to the quarterback, will tell you it's all about that get off. That get off, that first step, and where that first hand goes. That first step with that first hand when you're attacking. And to be that big, that explosive, and that quick, man. it's a, kind of a perfect combination. Hill was a six round pick last year, the Bengals. They went up against those guys every day in practice, and they insisted on good versus good work in order to get them better. The second blue, who's now de-tackled over at Pittsburgh. I mean, when you have something that you can gauge, that's how you know you can get better. You, you're over pushing yourself like, if I'm, I think I remember. Here's Jordan Davis. Stop playing, big fella. Sit down on you. Yeah. Got to get low. There you go. On that spin, you just got to make sure you get, you got to drop, you got to drop a little bit, drop your weight a little bit. Get that shoulder low, it's going to help you with the, the trajectory of the angle that's going to come out. The one oh, thing, oh, DJ, playing. that you guys show with Aaron Donald and all his moves. For days now, like he's he's there to be a, a, a powerhouse. This guy's had a great day, Travis Jones. That's 325 plus pound time. They went up top. Nice. He's going like, to draw a flag. I mean, again, he looks like Thomas that's Davis the interhocular in me coming out. <laughs> Got to get in the strike zone. Oh, I feel Honestly, like I love the figure eight drill. Go! 
like in terms of in terms of all the field drills out here, I love the figure eight because it lets me know whether you can bend, whether you can adjust, and whether you can keep those feet moving when when you get too close to the ground. This to me is is what makes an edge, or, or allows a three technique to be. I know why you like this drill because you know once you get around that edge, the quarterback is standing right there waiting. I need it. <laughs> I need it. If you've been the edge, there's a reason why. <laughs> Talk about the importance of kind of that ankle flexion, be able to bend when you're going through this drill and how this can expose it if you're a little tight. Absolutely. I, I don't know anything about keeping your, your cleats to the ground. you got to be able to, to turn on a dime. Yeah. you got to have be able to have a little bit of that ankle mobility. you got to be able to have a little bit of that shin flexion, if you will, to, to get those proper angles of staying low to the ground. That's why you see them you know, placing the towels down because you need to see how low they can get, how well they can bend those turns, how easy they get out of those transitions. You know what I mean? Like... It, Put a big, huge hoop on the floor, <laughs> and then you put the washing machine at the very end. <laughs> That's exactly. where you put it. Yeah. And then you hit them with the. By the way, this drill was added to the combine in 2020. That's right. Yes, I've never seen relatively. This I know it's just, it's relatively new, and so. Exactly, Carter. Get around, get around, get around, get around. Go, 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 go. There we go. State hometown hero makes the kid. <laughs> Love seeing big bodies move like that. He's got quick hands, too. Man. It's Jordan Davis. And again, Davis and Wyatt up front. And N'Kobe Dean behind them. Can I just tell you something about that's Georgia, insane. though? That as yeah. good as these two defensive tackles are, yes. they've got one that's coming back to school that's better than both of them. Was that Carter? Again, this is Travis Jones. I don't want him to get. I don't want to get him lost in the. I don't want him to get lost in the shuffle because. No, he looks good. He's my 39th overall player, guys, and he, he's 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 going to find his way into the first round before this is all said and done. Well, Wyatt's at number 29. You think that's with a bullet there for you, D? Or are, are, are they're all going to be out here today? They're all delivering, and then there's guys beyond that. I think they're going to push their way up. I've never seen. I've, playing the run is probably the area he's got to get a little bit stronger, a little bit better at, but. He can go. <laughs> there he goes. Four three seven. <laughs> he can really go. That's not a bad start to the group here. Just a four three seven. Fans dig it. Two hundred and forty six pounds. Well, they make uh, plugins now in Detroit. <laughs> That's true. And it's a, a full charge. Oh, well, he's definitely a plug and play guy, <laughs> and he brings an electric game with him. One six two ten is great. Four seven five four. That one six two. T.J. Watts a one six one. Rear and now here's David Ajabo who had a stupendous season. He on the is, other side of Hutchinson. He can go. He's got burst and bend, and you give him a little bit of room, he he can close. I'm anticipating him to roll here. Four six flat. Outstanding good 10 time it's a great 40 time all right he's fan. still learning how to play rich and you saw the impact that he had i mean the best is still ahead of him he didn't come to the united states until high school born in nigeria moved to scotland now by way of ann arbor michigan fast wolverines on the defensive line here okay now here's another elite prospect Kayvon Thibodeau of Oregon. This is a big one, Rich. Yeah. It, Four, six, five. But look at the one, six, two split. The wow. one, six, two. That is out. Well, his line mates at the tackle position both ran <laughs> sub 4 8. And now he's off and running here. <laughs> And that's a 4-6 flat. <laughs> My gosh. Shows you what Nikosa can do and has done. Myron Tungo Vailoa Omosa. And yes, that is to his cousin. He reminded me of a, of a player when I was with the Baltimore Ravens, Jarrett Johnson. Jarrett Johnson started out as a defensive tackle. To go Jordan Davis on the vertex. Hang on. Uh -oh. Hang on. Oh, what a finish. He stuck the landing. <laughs> Whatever it is. And, you know, when I came to the combine, I wanted to compete. I wanted to go against the best and show I was prepared and ready to do all these drills. And I wasn't hiding from anything, you know. And, uh, you know, a lot of these guys get information and 
he's not, you know, he's healthy. So he ran a good 40. So I don't know uh, what happened between your conversation, Charles, and where we are right now. Well, we just watched Aiden Hutchinson go through it, and George Karloftis of Purdue didn't run a 40, but here he is doing the on-field drills. George Karloftis is a player reminded me so much of Ryan Kerrigan. That was what, obviously the same school there. Karloftis can do a lot of the same things. Here's a Jabo. That's it. That's it. That's it right there. Drop your level. Drop your level. Drop your level. Come on back. There we go. Back. Sprint to me. Stacey Dales, you got anything? Yeah, Rich, I just talked to Kayvon Thibodeau. Uh, he put his sweats on. Put out an outstanding 40, but the fact he's not doing the field workout. And it, there's going to be some people that have concerns about that narrative about, you know, not playing hard all the time. And I'd be curious to know what the, the reasoning was for, for leaving after the 40. Well, we hope it's not anything, uh, you know. You know, when I came to the combine, I wanted to compete. I wanted to go against the best and show I was prepared and ready to do all these drills. And I wasn't hiding from anything, you know. And, uh, you know, a lot of these guys get information. And he's not, you know, he's healthy. So he ran a good 40. So I don't know uh, what happened between your conversation, Charles, and where we are right now. Well, we just watched Aiden Hutchinson go through it. And George Karloftis of Purdue didn't run a 40, but here he is doing the on-field drills. George Karloftis is a player. Reminded me so much of Ryan Kerrigan. That was what, obviously the same school there at Purdue. And then when you talk to the folks Oh, well, you hear the Purdue, Purdue round of applause yeah, here. Yeah, you got some love. <laughs> but they say they're actually close. They keep in, in touch with one, one another. So uh, that was my comparison. Their, their size is almost identical. Both uh, have some real power. Kerrigan's kind of known for that, that bull rush and the power that he has. This Karloftis can do a lot of the same things. Guys, I got to get in on this one because I did some radio this week and sat with Kayvon Thibodeau and asked him two things point blank. Number one, the rumors about his motor and what people were saying and get his answer on that. And number two, asked him point blank, what will you do this week? Let's see Walker, who's had a phenomenal day. And he's so fluid to be that big and that heavy. You see it. We'll show his XO at some point in time today, Rich, and show what he does in coverage. That that big man right there dropping in coverage and changing directions is incredible to see. And we will see him in that drill, right? Yeah, he'll Shortly. get a chance to do all that stuff. Come at me. Come at me. Come at me. Come at me. Get out. Well, now this is going around the edge. This is the bread and butter stuff right here. And that was Ebikati from uh, Penn State who did not run a 40, but who jumped out of the gym earlier today in second overall player. All right, here's Hutchinson. Stay tight right there, coming down the line, nicely done. Drills, he's an elephant, he's a tweener. He'll play DN slash outside linebacker. He understands that. So, you know, at the end of the day, these guys got to do what's best for them. I don't think it's an effort thing or anything about competing if a guy decides to not want to do, you Will, know, Willie, all this the would, drills. You this, know? Would, this would be my only thought on it, is if he came in here and, and met with the teams as you go through all the meetings, and right. all the teams will ask you, hey, what do you plan? I hear you. I'm, I'm, I'll just... As we watch Hutchinson go through it, just shoot you straight. Isn't it the same long day for everybody who's going through the for drills Walker right now? Walker and Hutchinson and Ojabo and all those guys can... Kristen Wirfs in 2020. It's Jordan Davis. Of course it is. A 10 foot three inch broad jump. They don't come up and down. They stay in the lean, low position. See how he's still staying low, not popping up out of his out of his out of his motion. He's going to do most majority rushing. You know, some of these teams play a hybrid three four where they're listed as an outside linebacker, but they're really not dropping at all much. You know, they're not. It's a waste to put him in coverage. You know, was coming yes. out. He was good at reaching and jarring the ball out. And for a guy not playing for as long as he has, he already has more moves than a lot of guys that's been playing his position for a long time. Absolutely. Well, somebody watched the end of a very long day, long week. Yeah, I mean, that's... There's another drill to go after this. All oh, rat poison you're giving him. That's all the rat poison. It's just different flavors of rat poison. Oh, oh, nice grab. Oh. Try to gather and go get the ball. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, it's a lot to ask to some of these guys as down defensive linemen to be running like this <laughs> 35 <laughs> yards down. Oh, nice field. grab. Gunter. Gunter. Oh, does he have a cat? Nicely done. Well done. There's no way Mayock has friends humor. There's zero chance. That's correct. 
Here we go. Oh. All right, Hutchinson. There we yeah, go. Nicely done. We're finishing up strong. There you go. Here we go. Ready? Come on, go. Laftus. Carl Laftus had a great linebacker workout. Nice. There, and he finishes it nicely done. Brought it in. Oh, fans dig it. So here are the official 40-yard dash times. Amari Barno. It's the uh, a Barno burner. Fastest 40 in the history of the position. That's impressive. I would say Trayvon Walker, 4'5", 1", at 272 pounds, which I believe is the fastest we've ever seen anybody over 270 pounds run at the combine. Mm -hmm. Amazing day for the first two groups. Boy, what an effort Trayvon Walker put out there. Look at this, 35 and a half inch vert, 10-3 on the broad jump. And our guy Peter Schrager called his 40 sure time did. at 4.60 yeah. yeah. before he even stepped up to the mark. And then it got lowered to 4.51. Four, five, <laughs> How about Aiden Hutchinson? So, so, it was, so that's better, right? Yeah, I think so. Ran a 4.74 and pretty solid with the athleticism yeah. and the jumps as well. I'm glad you used that word. That's just put all that to rest. He's extremely athletic. George Karloftis from just down the road in West Lafayette. Also athletic. 38 inches in a 10-1 broad. Peter, how about the way he caught the ball in the in That the was what I was going to say. He looked like a tight end catching those balls. He smokes his own elk. <laughs> Arnold Ebikete. Won't that make the elk silk? So yeah. 38 <laughs> inches in the vert. Whoa, is that 10-8, bro? 10-8? Remember, remember, he did not run the 40, but he did everything else. And you're seeing exactly why people are very interested in him. Imagine him coming off the edge. Let's go. So we're showing the shoes of, was that Robinson? Yeah. Okay, he lost Whoa. a shoe. Twice. Look at this. Uh oh. He keeps on coming out of his shoes, so he, he changed his shoes. There they are. Okay. Well done. All right. Linebackers still to come.